since the adhesive backing is new this month, I just wanted to give um, a really quick rundown. So I've already painted these tags. I've done my two coats. Um, I painted the larger tag white, the smaller tag blue, but um, the, ta the blue tag, I'm just gonna make it pop a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my, spon my white sponge and where you can see the etching for the rockets, I'm gonna go ahead and paint that inside white just so that it gives the rocket stripes um, a different color than the blue. Now, I'm not going to worry about um, making it perfect because number one, I don't wanna to get too close to the edge because I don't wanna um, have to go back and fix the blue, but you can see how this part is gonna cover the edge. Does that make sense? So you really only need this part to be white. So once I do like a rough outline, when the first coat dries, I will hover my um, firework over so that I make sure that I hit all the spots that are gonna be seen. Okay, that is my first coat. And so then what I would do is wait till it's dry. And once I put this on, I can see to where, um, sorry, it's so much easier if I'm not trying to show a camera, it makes it a little bit more difficult. I can see to where I miss some spots. So I'm gonna go back and make sure that I cover that with white. So you can see how it's a super rough draft. I'm gonna let that dry, check to make sure that it's covered. Then I'm gonna go back and do a second coat and then I'll unpause this video and we'll go ahead and um, put these together using the new adhesive. Okay, once you have everything painted and it's completely dry, um, I can't stress that enough. It needs to be totally dry because if you try to put adhesive on top of wet paint, it has nothing to really hold on to. So make sure it's dry and then you're going to dye it how easy this is. So you need your sharp tweezers or your thumbtack or your fingernail. Um, I talked about that in the Facebook group, but let's do um, the rockets first. So you're just going to take the tweezer and go underneath. You can tell what the backing is. It's got the lettering on it and you just go um, underneath it and you just peel it off. The actual adhesive, it's you'll notice that it's shiny um, and you can feel it. You can't really see it because you can, it's it's clear, so um, you are not going to see it besides it looking like the back of the wood. And then we'll do the next one. Really simple. Um, if you just set it down, then you're going to be able to pick it back up and move it around if you absolutely have to. But once you press it down, um, it's stuck. <laughs> and so if that happens and you're like, oh no, I messed up, reach out to me. Um, there may be a few things that you can try. I can't guarantee it will work, but there, there are some things that you can try, especially if it's like a really little piece. Um, cause I've definitely had to figure out how, um, to remove small pieces every now and then. Okay, making sure that it matches up with the, with the etching. And that's it, it's just, it's so fast and easy. With these stars, I'm lining up with um, the actual star and then just making sure that it follows the tail. I'm sorry, my hair's crazy. I um, have been out in the greenhouse today and it's really humid in there and I just can't tame it. 
once there's humidity. So yeah, literally just a little bit of pressing down and then it is good to go. It's so much nicer than super glue. So I use um, this adhesive with the signs, like when I'm making signs to sell. So I don't have to, it just gives it a more professional finish. You don't have to worry about like super glue coming out of the sides and um, like that shiny look. And I either use this or I use wood glue, depending, depending on the project. But super glue was just really nice to use at first because um, it's readily available and it comes individually wrapped so I can easily send it in my kits and I can't do that with wood glue. So this, although it's more costly, it's so much better. And that's it. Um, let me hurry and go cut some twine. Um, I'm sure you know, but just in case, and I will show you how I string my tags. Okay, I don't do anything crazy. I just take the two um, and set them together so it makes this loop. And then take the loop. I go from the back to the front, hold this part open, and then pull these two through, or yeah, through. And then I just tie a knot at the top. Um, you can string it any way you want. You could even use like super cute ribbon. Um, I'm sure there's tons of 4th of July ribbon if you didn't want to just use the twine but this looks good with almost everything. Okay. So ends together, loop from back to front and then pull through and then tie a knot. And just like that, oh. And just like that, you're ready for the 4th of July.